Hey, uh, we are aboard the Jamaican Grill food truck, and right here in the foreground we have Alan. Alan, tell everybody out there where they can uh, find you today. We can find us down here at uh, WDIV. Uh, you can also follow us on our Facebook page so you can find us day to day. All right. Sebastian's here in the background actually manning, uh, manning the fryer. Come on over here, uh, Sebastian. How did you guys get into the food truck business? Well, it actually started as my master's degree project at EMU. So I was in hotel and restaurant management. And once we finished the project and I did well, we decided let's try to make it a real thing. So, What are we looking at over here? On the, I, it's sizzling. I'm going I'm to hold the mic up. That's our jerk chicken. That's all. Our jerk is a wet rub. And then we marinate it and just grill it fresh every day. Okay, and what was the inspiration for this particular kind of food? It was my trip to Jamaica in the early 80s. Yeah, what was it about the food that really got you fired up? The spice, the real taste of, of the food, uh, but also the way they cooked it. It was so natural, It you can't get any more fresh than the Jamaican food. All right, well, what uh, what are you serving up back here? You're, uh, you've got ingredients in place. Chris, come on over, take a look in here. What do we have in here? Back here is festival bread, which is like a Jamaican semi-sweet fry bread. It's got uh -huh. the flavor of vanilla and rose water. So it's a pretty unique taste. We've got our fried plantains here. We do them sweet. Okay. And then this is Spanish sauce, which is uh, comes from our chef because he's from Indiana. Okay. So uh, something you'll find down in the Fort Wayne area. It's similar to our coney sauce, just a little sweeter. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, plate something up. Start making some creations here, and I'll go over here and talk to Alan, and he can narrate. Uh, what you're doing as you do it, Sebastian. All right. What do you got first? I'm going to do a wrap because that's like our. All right. Okay. So he's going to do the wrap. Tell us about that. Our jerk chicken wrap was actually come up by Sebastian, again because he's a, a was a student. They needed food to go. We do Jamaican jerk chicken on the bottom, then we make our own pineapple coleslaw, uh, made with vinegar and sugar because they don't use mayonnaise in Jamaica. You top that uh, with our banana peppers, uh, the taste of the spiciness, the sweetness of the pineapple, and then the crunch of the, the peppers on top are so unique that it just goes together. As you can see, he's putting the jerk chicken on. Okay. Um, Generous portion I see there. Okay, what's yeah. the sauce he's putting on there? That's my own jerk seasoning. We make our own jerk seasoning. Um, it's a very hot and spicy seasoning. Um, we like to let it set for about a month just so it can marinate. A month? Well, if you want to spread the flavors around, you got to let them set, especially in Jamaica. It's a very, very hot sauce. We warn our guests who want more, but we give it to them. Okay. Um, hot is in spicy hot. hot. Very spicy you know, hot. Like on, a, on the Scoville scale, how, how hot? Like uh, like uh, insanity pepper hot or? Yes. Really? Yeah. Um, would you like to try it? Um, insanity pepper hot? I'm not quite sure. I'll give it a go. Is that what that is right there? Yeah, that's our jerk chicken. Okay. Hold on a second here. That's so, the wrap. Go ahead and start the dinner. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to take this right here. Keep talking. What you're, what you're trying there is the jerk chicken wrap. Okay. It, like it says, it's got Look a combination of the sweet, the, the savory, and the hot from the chicken. Okay. It's... It got me worried here, because hot, hot. I, uh, it, it depends on what you classify as hot. I would classify that as really over hot. Mm. It's just got that nice... Uh, after about a count of three, you're going to get that heat in the front. Mm. That is fantastic. You guys, I'm going to have to save you some of these wraps. Oh, now the heat is kicking in. <laughs> I think I need some water. Let's go back inside. We'll tell you more.